Alright guys, we've got a great show for you this week. We have a mind-blowing lavender clutch. My best, the best lavender we've ever made. Just crazy. And then we have a very special unboxing um, from the one and only Ozzy Boyds. Let's get right to it. All right, we start with that lavender clutch. This is really exciting, guys. So the pairing was a yellow belly confusion het lavender to a leopard blackhead lavender, and it, she was pos het pied with these really awesome markers. So we're pretty sure she's het pied. And yeah, that definitely comes into play in the babies. So just crazy results. We'll take a look at them. We're gonna do our regular thing here, and we're gonna kind of start stacking the genes so you can guys can see the effect as they start to stack up. So we're starting here with what, just like what the dad looked like. This is a Confusion Yellow Belly, 100% hat Lavender. So check that out. Let's check, out. check out that crazy belly. The Confusion brings in these awesome bellies. and It's really amazing how this translates into the visual lavender. So the next one, we're gonna bring in the Blackhead. So this is Blackhead Confusion, um, and it's het, het Lavender as well. And look at the belly on that. So see the difference? And the blackhead really brings in a lot of extra black into the snake. Of course, it has the black back of the head and the narrow eye stripes where this one has the head stamp. But you see the kind of the effect that these two have. The confusion is just having a, a massive darkening and bold effect to these two. The next one we'll bring in is leopard blackhead confusion and I believe yellow belly as well. But we're not sure on the yellow belly in this one. But, so basically the difference between these two is leopard. Basically we're adding leopard to the black and confusion. Look at that belly. That is just crazy. Look like someone took a Sharpie marker and ran right down the center of the belly on it. And you can see these are all a little high strung. They're all thinking about biting the camera. Crazy. So then we're gonna look now at the visual, visual lavenders. All right, this one definitely wants to take a chunk out of me. Confusions just definitely seem to be high strung, especially as babies. Now this is a Confusion Leopard, possible yellow belly, and visual lavender. So the insane, insane contrast of these animals is just wild. And so he sees my hand out here and he just wants to bite it. Check that out. Check out the amazing banding, the white to orange contrast. Really happy with the color of this thing. And then that dark belly that you see, I'm trying not to get a bit here. The dark belly you see on the heads translates to a bright orange belly on the uh, visual, it's super cool. Now this one is basically the same thing, only this one I feel has better, more likelihood of being actually yellow belly as well. And check out the belly on that. You see the checkering, the bright orange on the belly, but it also has a lot of checkering along the edges. Again, that strong, beautiful banding. This other one's still trying to find something to bite. Super cool. I'm gonna put these away so they don't bite me while we look at the next one. All right guys, so this is the one that really just took the clutch, blew me away. This is the Leopard Blackhead Confusion Yellow Belly Lavender Albino and check out the crazy striping. And I told you guys that we, you know, the het pied part of it would come into play later. You know, what we find is whenever you have leopard and het pied um, together, it tends to create a lot of striping in the animal. And this is just another indication that the mom to this clutch was het pied. I'm expecting this one to probably prove het pied too. But look at that kind of triple or quadruple striping. It almost looks like a, a kind of elongated or stretched out honeycomb. Crazy. And then the, the best part of this snake is the belly is almost completely solid orange. It just shows how far you can take. Um, you get a heavy pattern, crazy snake, and then you just completely swap out the colors. You know, you almost make it like a negative version of itself, and you can end up with something completely different and something that's just absolutely stunningly visual. Well, workout number one's in for the day. Justin and I just manually unloaded uh, all of our Missouri order from the truck. So three pallets of Missouri this morning, and it's, uh, it's 10 a.m. So, good start to the day. 
All right, guys, so we have an epic unboxing from the one and only Ozzy Boyds. He's making some killer stuff this year, like I told you in the last video, and now we have some of it in my collection. Really excited about it, so let's check it out. I do buy snakes from time to time, and there's a couple here that were definitely a good fit for me. Swag. In fact, seems like that kind of Looks good. Okay, so we'll save that one for a second and we'll show you the. So we got one girl that was from last year that was a really good fit for some projects I'm working on right now. And this is personalized bags. This is a good touch, Ozzy. Look at that. So this is a red stripe, and you're thinking, why does Justin need another red stripe? <laughs> well, this is 100% double hat for G-stripe and clown. And I really love the G-stripe clown project, working on that towards the future. And he had this yearling girl up, so really happy to add her. Very nice. So check this out, guys. This is the one. Really excited about this girl. So I have not really shown any puzzles. Oh, she's even a little feisty <laughs> inside the tub there. I've not shown any of my puzzles, but I do have some. I've been kind of working on the project for a while underground. This is, look at that, ODYB Pastel Puzzle Cryptic. And this is some, some stuff that Ozzy has found in his collection this year where he has the cryptic stuff. He believes the cryptic moved into the puzzle and it just creating some incredible results. The puzzle by itself is an incredible gene. And all these different ways we're t that he's taken it, that we're figuring out, just makes it even better. A really cool project. Thank you, Ozzy, man. This is awesome. This is a girl. All right, guys, quick update on the clutch that we cut last week. So we have a blackhead, yellow belly, inchy, het pied, um, posset lav, the Enchi Blackhead, Het Pied Posset Lav, and then the three Lavenders are the three that have not shed yet, but they're still looking way more orange than they even did in the egg. So the cool thing, so we have two, let's see what this is, the one that's moving here in the middle, this one is Enchi Lavender, and then these other two are Enchi Blackhead Lavenders, but look at the orange that's coming in on them already just from the first just from the last couple days the cool thing about this project is with the inchy lavenders is the orange comes in like almost steady like just over time it doesn't just happen with sheds or um um gradu it happens gradually which is really really cool to be able to see that every time you open the tub it's going to look a little more orange a little more neon colored and you don't have to wait for sheds in order to see that all right, we have Grayer here. We have a female. He's been helping me check for eggs every day. And we've been waiting for how long for this female to finally lay? Seven days now. It's overdue. She's overdue by seven days. We were checking before that even. So we've almost two weeks now. So it is a Friday night and she is finally laid. So we're gonna let Grayer set up the clutch. Have you ever set up a clutch before? First time, okay. So first of all, we're gonna add water to the tub. We got about two inches of vermiculite. So about three, three passes is about the right amount. One more. Eh. All right, we'll mix it up and see how it feels. You can always add more vermiculite or more water. All right, so just go ahead and grab a clump of it and squeeze it and see if it, does it drip? No. Does it stick together? Eh, not bad. So you, you want it to clump, but you don't want to be able to, to drip anything out of it, let me feel. I think it's good. Yeah, that's perfect, man. Perfect first try. Okay, so you want it to clump, but not actually be able to be wet enough to actually be able to squeeze any water out of it. Okay. All right, so just set it here on the cart. All right, so pull her, go ahead and pull her tub down. And we'll just set it right here on the shelf. Hold on. We love these Freedom Breeder 
racks with the shell and built in. Is it a good clutch? Yeah, at least at least nine eggs. Do you remember what she is? I want to say banana inchy head clown. No, banana itchy pied, something like that. Banana inchy butter, 66% head clown. So we'll find out if she's head clown based on what she makes. We got her from JSA Reptiles. Awesome, Joe and John. Link them in the description below. She's a beautiful girl. Hopefully she'll prove to be head clown. All right, do you want to try to pull her off the eggs? No. You want me to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you take the camera then. Just hold it right, right over here. There you go. Cut. Perfect. You're good. All right, so she's pretty, she's pretty chill. It's a nice big clutch, man. She's been holding for long enough. <laughs> she's been saving them up and making a couple extra eggs for us all this time. So we got what, three, six, eight. So slightly above average. Yeah, they're all stuck together pretty well. There we go. Pretty girl. See that, even though she's banana, there's no spots on her because between the uh, the butter and the inchy, it takes care of that. All right guys, cool clutch today. Sorry for the background noise, we got all the fans on. Um, this is a mahogany head pied girl and she's got a bunch of eggs. And the cool thing is she's bred to a black pastel mahogany yellow belly pie. So we're trying just to get that black pastel Suma into the pie, which hopefully will take it to the next level of darkness. And uh, just pray for some great odds. But Chase again says up. Chase, give us the report and how many eggs right. she has. And she is, she's a beautiful mama. Eleven eggs, can't beat that, guys. Eleven eggs. So we're we're looking to make some more suma pie. We absolutely love the combo and can't wait to just take it to that next level. Hopefully, get black pastel in there.